Okay, on. Yes. All right. Well, praise God. Welcome, everybody. Uh, happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz domingo por la mañana. Y también uh, feliz domingo de Ramos. Ramos. Sí, happy, happy Palm Sunday. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so we're starting Holy Week. So we're going to be talking a little bit about so many things. But that's okay. Be ready. This is what I tell you all the time. Prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. Because yes, yes. God has something for you. And uh, don't ever exclude yourself. Include yourself. Amen. Amen. So we want to welcome you. We want to welcome all those that are uh, joining us by audio video. Yes. Bienvenidos a todos los que están escuchando por audio o video. Prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Amen. Amen. So praise God. I want to do my share. You want to do yes. your share. You want to do your part. Amen. Amen. So grab your Bible, sword. <laughs> grab your sword, soldier of God. <laughs> Amen. And church, let's say it like we mean it. Amen. This yes. is my Bible. I, I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My street is receptive. And I love you to say, in Jesus' name, amen. Did you grab your Bible? Yes. <laughs> All right, well, good. Hallelujah. Um, I've got a few things I want to read at you. And uh, hopefully, <coughs> you'll take it to heart. Amen. But uh, in case you had never been told, you're, you're a child of God. Amen? Yes. Since you were born again, you're a child of God and you're in God's army. Amen. So this is what I have to say to you. You're a full-time soldier in God's army. Amen. Amen. So include yourself. Don't exclude yourself. Amen. So praise God. You know, uh, we're going to be talking about uh, what well, we've been talking about, staying positive in a negative world. Uh -huh. Amen. And uh, one of the things I want to say is, you know, this coronavirus thing. <laughs> Got everybody scared. Yes, it does. Including Christians. Uh -huh. <laughs> so this is what I gotta say for you. Coronavirus uh -huh. says, got Christians forgetting who we are. We're uh -huh. children of God. Uh -huh. And we gotta let our faith speak louder than our fear. All right. Amen. Sometimes we speak fear and have fear and are more scared than the world is. Uh -huh. Amen. We have to remember when well, we're a soldier in God's army and I'm yeah. full time and, and I'm full of him. I'm full of the word and I'm going to stand my ground. Amen. Amen. I mean, Jesus and all these Bible heroes we hear about, uh -huh. they went through the same opportunities yeah. and we need to do the same thing. This coronavirus yeah. is just a thing, you know, Jesus already dealt with. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And he says, fear not. You have not, not given you a spirit of fear, but a power love and a sound mind. So it says anyway, a couple of scriptures I have for you is, St. Corinthians 5, 7 says what? For we Christians walk by faith and not by not sight. sight. Or fear. <laughs> we don't walk by fear. We walk by faith. Mm -hmm. We walk by his word. Amen. Yes. Get full of the word. Amen. When you yeah. don't read on the word, you get to overflowing so you can go out there and minister to people yes. that don't have Christ. Uh -huh. People that are scared. People that need a, a touch of healing. Need a yeah. touch of, of, of what you've got. Amen. Hallelujah. St. Corinthians 1, or 1, 7 says... For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power yes. of love and of a sound mind. Amen. Amen. Let's remember that, child of God. Amen. So, coronavirus or whatever other things might show up in, in the future, Amen. let's not uh, let these things bring us down. Amen. Because see, greater is he that sent us than he that is in the world. And you know what? When you stay full of the word, you don't have to be afraid. Yes. Amen. Because he is with us all yeah. the time. He says he never leaves us, nor forsake us. Amen. Right. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, we haven't even got to the word. And uh, and I'm already blessed. Praise God. So guess what? We're talking about being positive in the negative world. And this is what you want to do. Let your say-sos be according to what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. says, I encourage you daily to spend your time in the word and confess the word and be positive. And Send your words in a positive direction. Yes. Amen. Send your words in the right direction. Don't send them the wrong way and don't right. say the negative things uh -huh. and don't join the negative crowd. That's right. Amen. Amen. Send them in the right direction, speaking positive confession or positive words over your life by choosing to change your say so's. Yes. And you know, the uh, Proverbs 18 21 says that death and life are in the power of the tongue. Uh -huh. Death and life are in the power of the words that you send out. Yes. So why not send out the positive words, uh -huh. amen? And uh, in the Good News Translation, it says, what you say can preserve life or destroy it. Mm -hmm. So you must accept 
the consequences of your words. Yes. Amen. So be careful. Amen. What you're sowing. So words are seeds that you're yes. sowing. Yes. Amen. And what happens to seeds when you plant them? Uh -huh. They grow. Uh -huh. Amen. So we don't want those things to happen. That's right. And here's some say so's that you want to say. Instead of saying, I'm sick, I'm no good, I'm a nobody, I'm blessed. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm a winner. Amen. Amen. You know, and people are going to hate you, and people are going to say things about you. It doesn't matter. That's right. What's the word of God says about you? Mm -hmm. You start walking by what the word says, amen, amen. not by what people say. Amen. You're a God follower, not a people follower, mm -hmm. amen. I am prosperous, you know. Woo, hallelujah, come on. Oh, just, you, you know, some of us, we just got to change our vocabulary. Yes. We just got to change the way, you know, reprogram ourselves, you know. we Everybody's in their computers, you know. Mm -hmm. Just delete all the negative stuff and reprogram your, yes. your, yourself, you know, to say all the positive yes. things. Yes. What the yes. Word of God has been, what He's been trying to tell us all this time. You know, you're talented. Oh, I can't do that. Uh, I'm a nobody. <laughs> you know, uh, Noah said it. Uh, Moses said it. And I've said it. And we've all said it. I'm a nobody. I can't do that. Oh, you pick so and so. They're so talented, you know. They can do all those things. Uh -huh. But when it comes to you, who qualified you? Uh -huh. Who made you? Who created uh -huh. you? Who put all these gifts in you? He did. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Amen. He put all these things in you. I'm creative. I'm faithful. Ooh, hallelujah. I'm, se I'm secure. I'm disciplined. I'm, uh, I'm focused. I'm attractive. Hallelujah. You know, I mean, you may not be attracted to the world, but to God, you know, hey, I'm very attractive. And, you know, and you're going to be attractive to people when they hear the word coming out of you. Say, wow, that person is attractive. You know, I wish I was them. You know, they're going to say these things. Amen. I'm valuable. You're somebody very important. Yes. Don't put yourself down. Lift yourself up. Amen. Amen. It's time we stop seeing ourselves the way the world talks about us. The way, you know, that's why it's so important that you get the word in you yeah. so you confess the word. Yeah. And it's so good for you to renew your mind with the yeah. word of God. Amen. So you don't start repeating all everything else that you've heard. That's right. Amen. That's right. So and, and get those negative thoughts out of you. Delete yeah. them and put new thoughts in there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an overcomer. Mm-hmm. The word of God tells us this. I'm an overcomer. Yes. I am more than a conqueror. Oh, yeah. Amen. I mean, you're a child of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. He's the king of kings, Lord of lords. And he says, I have put all these things in you. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm well liked. Mm -hmm. Praise God. I'm fun to be around. I have a good personality. I, the right people are in my future. Amen. You know what? Start calling those people now. No, no, you know, no. I've got right people in my, 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 my future right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, nobody wants to hang around me. You know, here you go. You're going to be looking down. Nobody wants to hang around me. All this other thing, negative things. Mm -hmm. The right people are in my future. The right opportunities are headed my way. Yeah. You know, it happens to so everybody else but me. You know, I'm so unlucky. No, mm -hmm. you're so blessed. Yes. Start yes. counting your blessings. You're more yes. blessed than you are down. Yes. You know, yes. hallelujah. <laughs> I overcome every obstacle. This, this is the year of my breakthrough. Everybody has a breakthrough. I'm going to have a breakthrough. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. I'm going to have a breakthrough. <laughs> I have God's favor. You know, the favor of God is, 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 is with me. Wherever I go, you know. Hey, you know, I don't know why, but we're going we're, we're gonna to accept you. We're going we're, we're gonna to give this to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Why? Because the favor of God is with me. Praise God. Wherever I go. I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Mm -hmm. You know how many times you just told yourself and people told you, hey, you know, good. You can't do anything. Mm -hmm. I've had people, I have family, you know, family sometimes are the worst. Yeah. Tell me, you're nobody, you're no good, you can't do this. Mm -hmm. Well, but don't receive that. And greater is he that's in you than he is in the world. Yes. You're going somewhere to happen to be a blessing yes. to somebody. And greater is he that's in you than he is in the world. Yes. Well, how do I know he's in me? Because the word is in me. And I'm yes. going, I, I'm, a, I'm a vessel of yes. God going somewhere to happen. I'm a soldier of God going somewhere to happen. Amen? Yes. It says, church, when you begin to say your positive say-sos, your life will never be the same. That's right. You know what? That's a new person. Mm -hmm. People know you from the back. Mm -hmm. People know you from way back. Mm -hmm. And they know you from the past. But they don't know the near you. Yes, See, yes, that's yes, a that's, that's an old person. That's yes. a, I'm a new I'm a new creature in yes. Christ. All things have become new. Oh, the old is gone, the new is in. Yes. God will bless you beyond your wildest dreams. Get ready for God to do the impossible in your life. 
Hallelujah. Whew, start believing those things. Amen. 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 And that was just a, 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 a warm up. <laughs> so have a, have a happy and blessed day. Amen. Amen. So praise God, you know. And some of the things that I'm going to say, change some of these, you know, because Jesus came. Yes. And today, of course, we're celebrating uh, Palm, Palm Sunday. Mm -hmm. And we're beginning the Holy Week. Mm -hmm. All this week is going to be the Holy Week. Amen. Yes. And it's uh, Feliz Domingo de los Ramos. Amen. Anyway, let me just read you a little bit. And it says that uh, Palm Sunday is a day of celebration. We celebrate Palm Sunday in order to commemorate the triumphant entry of Jesus Christ into the streets of Jerusalem with people walking, welcoming him and waving uh, palm branches and proclaiming him as king. Uh -huh. It is observed on the Sundays before Resurrection Sunday uh -huh. or the world uses more Easter Sunday. Yeah. But for us believers, yes. he is resurrected. Yes, we serve is. a risen Savior. Yes, Amen. Is. We don't serve yes. a dead Savior. We 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 serve a risen Savior. Yes. Amen. So resurrection Sunday, hallelujah. Uh -huh. He rose again. He yes. rose. He rose. Hallelujah. Amen. It is observed on the Sundays before uh resurrection or Easter Sunday. Uh again during this time, Palm Sundays, we're placing a path before his arrest on Holy Thursday. Mm. And then he is crucified on Good Friday. Mm. I don't know why they call it Good Friday because uh, that's the day he was crucified. Well, praise God. Mm. We know he's crucified, but know that uh, he's going to rise again. Mm -hmm. He's going he's gonna to rise. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'll tell you one of my favorite jokes here, or one of my favorite stories about the little boy that stayed home. He was sick. He stayed home with his mom. So dad went to church, and he came back with a palm. And the pastor was preaching about Palm Sunday. And he came back with a palm. He says, Dad, what is that? He says, oh, that's a palm. You know, Jesus came and, uh, and, and people, he was quoting what the pastor was saying. Uh -huh. He says, people came, he came into Jerusalem. He came into town uh -huh. and people was waving their palms at him, you know. Uh -huh. And the little boy says, man, I missed one Sunday and Jesus shows up. <laughs> <laughs> So you, you know what? You don't want to miss any Sundays. That's it. You don't want to miss any church. You know why? Because God shows up. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you know, if, if you don't know that, it's time that you know that. Uh -huh. Amen. When I come to church, when I come, when we gather ourselves, yeah. we are the church. Yeah. We are yeah. the body of Christ. Uh -huh. When we come assemble ourselves together, I know God is here. You know why? Because he says, he never leaves us no for seconds. So I know he's here. And I'm here. I'm here to receive. I'm here to, to be blessed. Amen. Or I'm here to be a blessing. He said he blesses you to be a blessing. Amen. <laughs> so anyway, the little boy was saying, man, you know, some of us, we need to make ex stop making excuses. We talked about that too. Because you know that something you missed is the day Jesus shows. <laughs> and you say, man, I missed him. You know, if we have a concert or we have whatever sporting event, you know, oh, I ain't going to miss it. I'm going to be there, oh, you know, yeah. and you miss and skip whatever, you know, and you tell your boss you were sick and <laughs> we saw you on TV. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? <laughs> what happened? You must have got, well, you must have got well real fast, you know, <laughs> but listen, you don't want to miss any Sundays because Jesus shows up every Sunday. He shows up every day in your life. Uh -huh. The thing is, do we have relationship? Uh -huh. yeah. Are you letting him in? Mm -hmm. Are you opening up to him? Are you spending time with him? Yeah. Every day, is, this This is, happens every day. It's called relationship. Yes, amen. amen. Because he is there. You got to take, he's took care of his part. Yes. And it's, he's always there. Yeah. We need to take care of our part. Amen. And we need to be there. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. It says Josephus, a Jewish uh, histo historian, estimated that there was over 20 million people there. Oh boy. And you know, people heard, people heard mm. about Jesus, about, ra uh, about him raising all these miracles he's done, by raising uh, Lazarus from the dead. Yeah. And people heard about Jesus. He know he's coming to town. Guess what? Hey, we're going to be there. Uh -huh. You know, what movie star, what uh, actor is coming into town? I, I want to be there. You know, hey, we all run over there. You know, hey, we skip church. <laughs> we skip whatever. But we're going to be there. So and so is going to be there. And Jesus comes into town. And everybody stays home. 
I said, uh -huh. no, uh, we, we, we don't want to do that. And then, so Palm Sunday, I mean, Jesus has spent three and a half years uh, teaching through words and actions. Amen. And uh, of course, this is about healing the sick, uh -huh. bone mending, mm. uh, demons driven out, mm. feeding the hungry, forgiving the unforgivable, mm. and loving the unlovable, mm. and the dead are raised. Amen. Amen. So Palm Sunday is Jesus' is worship and praise. Jesus begins his final week of ministry entering into Jerusalem among this uh, triumphant and victorious celebration. Man, they give him a nice parade, amen. Uh -huh. <laughs> Multitudes greet him, shouting hosannas, waving palms, branches, and uh, as, he, as he entered the city, you know, these people are just greeting him, having a great time, mm -hmm. amen. So, but what, guess what? They know, he knows Friday's coming. Judgment day, crucifixion is coming, amen. The cross is coming, the death, the burial, the resurrection. Many in the crowd a week ago exchanged words of praise to words of death. They uh -huh. say, crucify him. Uh -huh. And they exchange a murderer named Bar Barabbas mm -hmm. for, for Jesus, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Mm -hmm. They say, hey, you know, hey, who do I release? Do I uh -huh. release Jesus or do I release Barabbas? They say, release Barabbas. You know, hey, crucify Jesus. A week ago, they said, Hey, hail, all hail, you know, Hosanna, Hosanna to the highest, amen. Now they're saying, crucify him. So, a week shouting Hosannas and later shouting crucify him. Mm -hmm. The king rides into Jerusalem on a donkey, a colt, mm -hmm. knowing that he's riding to his death, mm -hmm. knowing what awaited him. Mm -hmm. Amen, you know, since he left heaven, he knew his destiny. Yes. Amen, he knew his mission. Amen. And that's why it's so important that we know our mission by having a relationship and having time with him so that we know what we're here to do. Mm -hmm. We're here to be ministers of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. We're here to be his ambassadors, his mouthpiece on earth. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sharing the good news in a negative world. Amen. I mean, they need some good news right now. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. scared. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's upset. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nobody wants to go out. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to do anything. Mm -hmm. Amen. But greater is he that's in us than he yes. is in the world. Yes. Amen. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of this. And then uh, we're going to go into something else. Praise Amen. God. Thank you, Lord. We're going, if you want to read this, Matthew 21, 1 through uh, chapter 21, verses 1 through 11, talks about, about the, him going into, into uh, in Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. So this is Holy Week for Praise Jesus. God. Amen. Uh -huh. And. 21. Uh, uh, chapter 21, verses 1 through 11. 21. Amen. Amen. So, on th uh, beginning the week, uh, let's, let's just start with Thursday. The Lamb of God gives us a new commandment to love uh -huh. one another. Love God and love one another. Uh -huh. Then he has the Last Supper with his, uh, with his disciples. Yeah. Amen. He shared with, uh, with uh, the apostles in, uh, in Jerusalem about his uh, crucifixion. Mm -hmm. Jesus washes his disciples' feet. Amen. He shows us how to be servants. Yeah. Amen. He said he came to serve, not to be served. Uh -huh. Amen. And then he tells us about, uh, he predicts his uh, betrayals. Mm -hmm. And Jesus predicts about Peter's denial. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's just uh, some, some, quick, uh, some quick things here. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then in John 14, 26, he talks about, he says, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my place, mm -hmm. in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things I have said to you. Yes. Amen. And in John, he talks about he is the vine and we are the branches. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, in John 15, 18, he says, if the world hates you, you know no. that it hated me before it hated yes, you. Yes, yes. Amen. So we know these things. Yeah. Amen. So Jesus came and things changed. He made a way for us. And we're oh, going to be yeah. talking about, about making a way. Amen. Yes, and Friday, and Friday, he talks about, uh, well, before that, it says, Jesus is betrayed by Judas for 30 pieces of silver. Uh -huh. He's denied by his closest friend, Peter, three times. He's abandoned by everyone. 
of his followers. Mm. Amen. He's dragged away yeah. as a criminal for yeah. committing no crime. That's right. Amen. No crime. <laughs> Praise God. Mm. The silent, innocent king stands in front of earthly powers yeah. where he is beaten, sped on, mm. and found guilty. Yeah. On Friday, Jesus is crowned king. Mm. They put a crown of thorns on his head. Mm. Nails are driven in his hands, and Jesus is crucified. Mm. Amen. Mm. Do we betray Jesus like the disciples? Mm. Seeking things instead of him. Yeah. Seeking uh, blessings instead of the blesser. Yeah, yeah. Seeking things instead of peace and understanding. Mm. Seeking excuses for not assembling ourselves together. Oh my God. Seeking excuses for not serving his people. Mm. Amen. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> do we do what the disciples did? Mm. Do we abandon him like the disciples going about our daily lives mm. as if Jesus never existed? You know, I tell you, we treat him sometimes like a spare tire. Mm. We only take him out in case of emergency. Mm. Hey, have you heard coronavirus? Oh, it's time to take out Jesus. <laughs> you mm. know, that's the only time we, we remember. You know, every time we have a crisis, it's time to take out Jesus. Mm -hmm. Come on. Deny him like Peter. Peter says, I'll fight for you. Yeah. Jesus looks at him and says, before the night is over, before the cock, the cock crow three times, you know, before this night's over, he said, you'll be ninety three times. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus uh, paid a price for our salvation. Still, we reject, disobey, and abandon him. Amen. And we prepare for all kinds of seasons, all kinds of uh, th events. We even prepare for the flu season, <laughs> but we don't prepare for Jesus coming. He said, I'm coming back, and we still can't prepare for that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Come, Come on, on now. now. Oh, <laughs> this conquering king, Jesus, rode uh -huh. on a donkey and climbed up the tree and died for you so that you may experience, may, uh -huh. may experience abundant life here on earth mm -hmm. and eternal life in heaven. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He knew since he left heaven, heaven his mission mm -hmm. and he knew that his time was up yeah. amen so he knew and you know what he never stepped back don't That's say right. and right. he was afraid mm -hmm. amen I'm sure he asked the father for strength mm -hmm. you know but still he pressed on he yes. pressed on yes. and we need to do the same thing amen. with this coronavirus thing you know say Lord I thank you to invite Jesus Christ I'm healed yeah. I thank you to we play we 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 we, we we put the blood of Jesus over yes. our doorposts, yeah. over our temples, you know, yeah. and say, hey, all this thing has got to bypass us, yes. you know. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So praise yeah. God. He, he took care of all that for us. Yes, he did. So I'm going to go into something else from there. Hallelujah. I'm just going to let you know that Jesus made a way. Yes, he did. Amen. He made a way for us. Yes. So we got to stay positive in this negative world. Uh -huh. You got to keep yourself stirred up. Yeah. Nobody's going to do it for you. you got to right. do it yourself. Yes. You know, just keep yourself stirred up in these yeah. things, you know. <laughs> You're not alone. He's with you. He said he never leaves you nor forsakes you. Amen. So we got to stay stirred up in the things of God. God will yeah. make a way in times of trouble, in times yeah. of trials, in times of temptations, in times of trusting, in times of transgressions. There's giant storms of life. That we face on a daily basis. Lately, coronavirus. Oh boy. You know, these things have come. And there's new things coming. But you know what? He's covered all this. Yeah. Amen. He's covered all this. There's nothing new. Come daily. They come daily. Don't let them control you. And don't let them put fear in you. That's you right. control them. That's How right. do you control them? With the word of God. With the word and of you God. stand on the word. Amen. And you stand by his name, you know, and yes, say, yes. in Jesus' name, yes. I can do all things. All things. Amen. Hallelujah. And you stand your ground and say, yeah, I'm not, I have been given a spirit of fear. That's right. But a power of love and of a sound, sound mind. mind. And that's uh, um, mm -hmm. uh, 2 Timothy 1.7. Amen. 1 Peter 5.7. Let's, let's go there. I'm going to give you a couple of scriptures here that you probably didn't even know. Yeah, First Peter five seven. First Peter. Yeah, it's right before Second Peter. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> First Peter five seven. Says what? Cast all your cast him, 
all you care about him. Why? Because he cares for you. You know, let's read 6, 7, and 8. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Cast in all your cares upon him, because why? He cares for you. And, and 8 says, be sober, be vigilant, because what? Your adversary, the devil, is roaming as a roaring lion, <laughs> walking about, seeking who he may devour. Amen? So, guess what? We know. We know what he's up to. Yeah. yeah. So, hallelujah. Oh, I'm Praise sorry. Uh, go to the, go go to uh, Psalms 55. Let's go back to the New Testament. Psalms 55. All these are are together. Yeah. Psalms 55, 22 says. Yeah. Says, cast thy burden upon the Lord, oh, and yeah. He shall sustain thee. Yeah. He shall never suffer the righteous to be. Moved. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, the Amplified says, Cast your burden on the Lord. Release the weight of it. And he will sustain you. And he will never allow the consistently righteous to be moved or made to slip, fall, or fail. Amen. Amen. Now, go to Isaiah. <clears throat> Just go up the street a little bit. A few chapters. Isaiah uh, 41. And this is good uh, scriptures to write down yeah. because we can stand on these right now. We need yeah. them right now. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> He's not giving you a spirit of fear. So right. that's uh, 2 Timothy uh, 1 and 7, Psalms 55, 22, and Isaiah 41, 10. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 41, 10 says what? Fear, fear not, not thou. thou. For I am what? With, you. With thee. Mm -hmm. Be thou dis be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will yes. strengthen thee, yea. I will help thee, yes. yea. <laughs> I yeah. will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Right. Yes. So, you know what? We have nothing to fear. That's right. Amen. Why? Because he's, he's told us in his word. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We've already read this, but I'll give it to you again. St. Corinthians 5, 7 says what? For we walk by faith, not by sight. Not by, sight. Not by fear. And fear is what? False evidence right. appearing real. Amen. You know, if you're going to walk by, by sight, by, by, uh, by, by sight, what you see, well, that's uh -huh. what you believe. No. That's it. That's it. You're going to walk by faith mm -hmm. and not by sight and Amen. not by fear. Amen. If you're walking yeah. by sight, you're going to fear. Yeah. Amen. But I'm not doing that. James 4, 7 says what? Therefore, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil and what? Yes, he will flee from, from you. you. Amen. Amen. So we're going to submit ourselves to God. Lord, Amen. we just put ourselves under your care. Yes, yes. Amen. And guess what? We resist the animal, enemy. Amen. You, you resist the enemy. Yes. And he'll flee from you. You know, That's sometimes right. we want him to do all this. Uh -huh. But he's already done it. Uh -huh. So we have to speak the word. Mm -hmm. Speak the word and confess the word and speak to the enemy. Yeah, see, yeah. you remember this is what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. Because you forget. You forget he's unforgiving. I mean, he's yeah. unforgetful. He, he don't remain. He's so dumb. Mm -hmm. You got to remind him. This mm -hmm. is what the Word of God says. Yes. And by the way, he said, you belong under my feet, so get under my feet. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> He'll flee from you. Oh, yeah. He's got to go. Got Amen. To go. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Philippians. Let's go to Philippians. Uh -huh. Four and six. The God is making a my God has made a way. He's not making a way, he's made a way. He's made a way. Amen. Mm -hmm. So Philippians chapter four. Mm. Hallelujah. I'm happy. I don't know about you. Yeah, yeah. Praise I'm God. happy, happy, happy. Uh chapter four. And let's start on verse six. <clears throat> Are you there? Uh -huh. Says be careful what for nothing. For nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God, unto God. Seven says, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Yeah. It says, finally, my brethren, mm -hmm. whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever... <clears throat> things are pure, yeah. whatsoever things are lovely, yeah. whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, yes. and if there be any uh, praise, think on these yes. things. Amen. Amen. So, we're not going to, you know what, we're not going to speak the things that bring fear. 
<laughs> we're going to bring the things that are positive. Amen. We're going to speak what the word of God said. He's not giving us a spirit of fear. So praise God. Mm -hmm. Jesus, guess what? Jesus <laughs> faced a few storms. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amen. You think you've gone through some rough. <laughs> think about Jesus. And he was beaten and spit on and crucified. Mm -hmm. And he gave up. He died. Mm -hmm. But he rose again. Yes, Amen. So yes, praise God. God. So praise Jesus God. went through a few rough things. Yes, he did. Noah, Moses, Job. Uh, Joseph, David, they went through some rough things, you know. Uh -huh. Some of these Bible heroes, you know, we, th we think about them, but they weren't perfect. But they went through some rough storms. Amen. And guess what? So are we. But did they see him? Did God see him through? Yes. He's going to see us through also. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's going to see you through. <laughs> Whatever storms, this uh, sick, sickness, uh, storms, uh, corona storms, mm -hmm. coronavirus storms, mm -hmm. they're going to pass. Yes, amen. amen. They're going to they're gonna pass. Greater is he that's in us than he yes. is in the world. Amen. Yes, amen. So praise God. Family problem storms or health storms, financial storms, whatever storms come your way. People mm -hmm. storms. Yes. Rude. <laughs> Rude. Hateful. Jealous. Oh, unlovable. Oh. Unlikable. Unforgiving people. Oh. <laughs> we go through this on a daily basis. Yes, yes. You know, you have to prepare yourself yes. and stir yourself. Before you hit the world. Oh my God. Because once you go out your door, mm -hmm. uh, you're going to run into some of these things. Oh, yeah. Amen. So there's so much rage oh, out there now. You know, nobody wants to be second best. Yes. Everybody wants to be first. Oh, yeah. And they want to cut you off uh -huh. and do whatever. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you got to prepare yourself. Mm -hmm. God will make a way. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, uh, I think I told you this last week or two weeks ago, but he says, it's hell out there without Jesus. Mm. Amen. It's hell, period, it's true. without yes. Jesus. It's true. <laughs> yes. So, oh, yeah. yeah, so you got to have him before you go anywhere. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> God will make a way. With yeah. God, you are in control. Without God, you're out of control. Uh -huh. And it's hell without him. Mm. Amen. You know why? Because you can't do it without him. That's right. Amen. That's right. We've talked about this all the time. You know, uh -huh. if you're a part-time Christian, you ain't no match to a full-time dad. That's right. That's it. And that world will have you in a oh, heartbeat. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So remember that. Yeah. Your words, your actions, your thoughts will make you mm -hmm. or break you. Mm -hmm. We've talked about this. Yes. And it's so important that, you know, even when Jesus stood before these uh, mighty powers, they said, in, in Rome. <laughs> he didn't speak anything. And he didn't say anything. And he held his word. Mm -hmm. He didn't say nothing. I mean, he was silent. He just, he's going to fulfill what he was told to do. Amen. So we got to keep positive. Keep a positive attitude. Keep a winning attitude. Yes. Keep a positive confession. Yes. Yes. So the right words. Yes. Amen. Yes. Say the right things. Mm -hmm. Remember your say so. I'm going to yes. say the right things. Yes. Amen. I'm going to say what the Word of God says. Yes. Let your say so be according to God's Word daily. Yeah. I was supposed to read them to you now, and I already read them to you. But your say so, you know, hey, I can do all things through Christ. All things. Amen. Yes. All things. Not something. Mm -hmm. Stay in control. Mm -hmm. Feed your spirit. Renew your mind. Crucify your flesh. Because mm -hmm. your flesh. Wants to join the unlovable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your flesh wants to join the lazy. <laughs> the, your flesh wants to join the, the easy way. Mm. <laughs> you know, it just wants to sit. Mm. But you know, feed yourself mm. the Word of God. Yes. Stir yourself up with the yes. Word of God. Yes. Renew your mind with the Word of yes. God. Yes. Amen. And, and your flesh has to come with you. Amen. Remember? <laughs> He's got to come. He can't sit. You got to. Get busy. Stay in faith, not in fear. Yes. I mean, we got to practice it. We can write some of these things down and uh -huh. just post them uh -huh. eh, 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 all over the place. Uh -huh. You know, stay in faith, not in fear. Because, you know, <laughs> everywhere you go, mm -hmm. you see. Yes. Everywhere you go, you hear. Yes. And you're hearing all these negative things all the time. So you have to renew your mind uh 
uh -huh. and say, I'm going to walk by faith and not by sight. Okay? Or what I hear or not by fear. Uh -huh. Trust him and to please him. Uh, Hebrews 11 1 says what? Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, yeah. the evidence of things not seen. Yeah. Amen? And Hebrews 11 6 says, without faith it is impossible to please him. Yes. So, you know, I'm going to stay in faith. Why? Because mm -hmm. I want to please him. Yes. Amen? Thank so, Lord. we are going to walk and stay in faith. Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Here we go. We've uh, had this uh, scriptures quite a few times here lately. But John uh, 16, 30, uh, 33 says, uh -huh. For I have told you these things, so that in me you might have peace. Yeah. In this world you'll have troubles, but take heart. Yeah. I have overcome oh, the world. Oh, yeah. Amen. I say, oh, Lord, I need more of you. Yeah. I need you, Lord, more than yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Don't run, Jose is saying. <laughs> <laughs> I need you more, Lord. I need you more today. Yes. More, I need you more right now. Yes, right Amen. now. And yes. you know what? It's okay to let him know. Yes, yes. I need more of you. You know what? Because you get full of the world, and you're going to fall, and you're going to fail. Mm -hmm. Say, Lord, I need, I, I need a, 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 a Jesus break. <laughs> I, I just spend time with him and just fill yourself with him. Amen. Spend yes. time with him. Amen. Amen. I put a, a scripture scripture break on uh, <clears throat> mm -hmm. on uh, Facebook every day. Yes. And I told you, I said, you know, we take all kinds of breaks. We take uh, coffee breaks. We take lunch breaks. We take uh, smoke breaks. We take uh, whatever kind of breaks you take. Why not take? Why not? Why, why not take a, a? We we take a break just to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> Why not take a scripture break, uh -huh. a Bible yes. break, and get into the Word Praise and just God. get get you a scripture, Thank you know, you and wherever wherever you are, you know, and just have you a scripture there. Say, this yes. is my scripture for today. Yes. Amen. Yes. So praise God. We can take a scripture break and, and and be strong. Proverbs three five and six says, "Trust in the Lord with what? Oh, all yes. your heart, and lean not to your own understanding. Yes. In all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your path yes. straight." Yes. Amen. So guess what? I'm not going to trust this world. I'm going to trust in Him. Amen. I'm going to submit myself to Him. Amen. 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 Here's a good scripture that Come on. Uh, one of our viewers gave us. Isaiah 26, 4. Uh -huh. Read 3 with it too. Isaiah 26, 4. Tw Isaiah 26, 4. Okay. Amen. Isaiah 26, 4. Amen. The, the 3 goes. Isaiah, down. what was it? Isaiah 26. 26. Four, but read three right along with Okay. It. Thou will keep him in perfect peace. Yes. Whose mind is stayed on thee. Uh -huh. Because he trusted in thee. Yes. Trust ye in the Lord forever. For in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you. Thank we you. ever seen that. Appreciate yes. that. Amen. Praise Thank you for God. listening. Hallelujah. We we appreciate you. So praise God. So trust yes. in the Lord with all your heart. Yes. And lean not to your own understanding. Right. You know what? If you don't renew your mind, mm -hmm. if you don't renew your mind, mm -hmm. you're going to lean on your own understanding yes. or you're going to lean to the world. Yeah. And you don't want to do that. Amen. That's right. So praise God. Psalms 37 and 23 says, the steps of a yes. good man yes. uh -huh. are ordered by the Lord and he delights in his way. Uh -huh. Amen. The steps of a righteous man, a good man, yes. are ordered of God. Amen. Yes. So yes. when people tell you, you know, you're nobody, you're no oh, good, yeah. say, oh, yeah, I am a righteous man. And God yes. knows, and he directs Amen. my path. Amen. Yes, he does. Yeah. Amen. You yes, know, Lord, when you Lord. turn up, turn, turn and, and say something like that, you'll say, wow, I wasn't expecting that. That's uh -huh. right. And then the Amplified says, uh -huh. the steps of a good and good righteous man yes. are directed and established by the Lord. Amen. And he delights in his way. Yeah. And blesses his path. Yes. Ooh. Proverbs 24 and 6 says, For the righteous man falls seven times and rises again, but the wicked stumbles in time of disaster and collapse. Yes. A way out of your storm and problems. Uh -huh. They come to all. Amen. They come to the saved and the unsaved. Mm -hmm. You know, they save unsaved people, don't they? But still, they come to all. Yes. But we're going to come to you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Ooh, we 
stumble and we fall, but guess what? We're going to rise with him. Yeah. But if you will trust God and keep on moving in faith, amen. <clears throat> How many of you remember the footprints? Amen. We got to remember that. Sometimes we got to remind ourselves on a daily basis of the footprints. He says, where were you? I said, well, there was two, foot, two sets of prints. And mm -hmm. All of a sudden, there's one print. And here I am all by myself. He says, no. He says, that was me. I was carrying you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So when you lean on him, guess what? He's going to be there. He's going to carry you. Amen. Don't forget that. Trust in him even when you may not see the way or the end. Things may not <clears throat> seem so clear. Whatever may be on your way uh -huh. or blocking or whatever distractions are there, know that he is there. Amen. God will make a way mm -hmm. where there seems to be no, no, way. no way. Amen. Ask Moses. Yeah. <laughs> when the flood, before the flood came, mm -hmm. he made a way. Yes, he did. He had Noah build an ark. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when Moses was leading his people out of Egypt mm -hmm. and his armies was behind him and the Red Sea was in front of him, God made a way. Mm -hmm. He opened, he opened that Red Sea. Amen. Amen. And they walked on dry land. Mm -hmm. So whatever you're facing right now, whatever you may be facing, this uh, yes. coronavirus, you know, <laughs> that's nothing. That's yes. nothing. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And by Jesus stripes, we're healed from all these things. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Amen. Praise God. Woo. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. And he's made a way for me. He's going to be. He, he's made a way for me. Yes. It becomes yes. understandable as you walk in the path he has set before you. Yes. Amen. Understanding is not, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> he made a way for Jesus, he made a way for Noah, Moses, David, all these people. They stepped out in faith, just like we can step out in faith on a daily basis. He told Peter to come. When Peter says, hey, mm -hmm. you're walking on water. Mm -hmm. I want to walk on water. He says, come. That's all he said. Mm -hmm. Amen. What is he telling you today? Yes. Amen. He's got a word for you. Yes. Amen. Yes. You need to receive it. And you need to do what he's telling you to do. That's right. Amen. Come to him. Come. Yes. He says, come. Yes. Amen. You know, so-and-so says, well, you know, you failed him. You've sinned against him. And you've done this. You've done that. And he can't use you anymore. He wants to use you. He put you here to fulfill a mission. Mm -hmm. And now you can say, Lord, I want to come and fulfill what you called me to do. Yes. And all Thank he has says is, come back. Come. Yes. come. And he wants you to come to him. Amen. Yes, he and he wants to just clean you up and send you on your way. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise yes. God. Amen. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah. hallelujah. I can do all things through Christ all who strengthens me. Yes. <laughs> Proverbs 4, 18 and 19 says, The path of the righteous is like a morning sun, mm -hmm. shining ever bright, brighter, till the full light of day. Amen. But the, <laughs> the way of the wicked is like a deep darkness. Uh -huh. They do not know what makes them stumble. Yeah. Amen. Woo. But I want to shine. I want to yes. shine. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Remember last week we talked about this little light of mine? Yeah. I'm going to let it shine. <laughs> Amen. I'm going to let it shine. You know what? That world is dark right now. Mm -hmm. And when you go out there with your little light on, you know, turn it on, they're going to see that. You know, and they're going to say, you, you, you're born again. You're a child of God. I said, yeah, how did you know? They can tell. Amen. Amen. They can yes. see that light is shining. Amen. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise, Praise God. God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So don't worry. Don't be anxious for nothing. Mm -hmm. And trust in the Lord. Amen. Yes, God yes. will make a way. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. See, as I was getting a little ahead of myself, but as you study the history of Israel, God made a way for them. Yes, he did. made a way for them out of Egypt. Yes. Amen. Yes. And God chose somebody. Yes, he did. He chose Moses. Mm -hmm. And you know what Moses says? He says, I'm a nobody. Mm -hmm. I can't speak. Mm -hmm. What is he choosing you to do? Mm -hmm. You know, he chose you to go mm -hmm. and be a minister of reconciliation. He chose you to be an ambassador for him. Mm -hmm. Be his mouthpiece on earth and go yes. and do what he's called you to do. Amen. He's told Noah to go I mean, and Jonah to go preach in Nineveh. Mm. He says, no, I'm going the other way. <laughs> Whatever he's told you to do. Mm -hmm. You know, people ran away from him, mm -hmm. but they come back. The prodigal son ran, but he came back. Amen. Come back home. He made a way for them to cross the Red Sea. Amen. He made a way uh, for them to cross uh, the wilderness. Mm -hmm. He made a way for them to go into the promised land. Yes. 
Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> he made a way for Jesus. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. He gave his only begotten son. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, praise God. He made a way for Paul and Silas. Mm -hmm. You know, when Paul and Silas were beaten, <laughs> instead of complaining, they praised and worshiped God mm -hmm. at the midnight hour. Yes. You know, <laughs> nobody was watching them. Nobody was listening to them. Mm -hmm. But God was. Yes. Jesus was. Yes, he was. You know, Jesus was. And he heard them. And guess what? He came and rescued them. Mm -hmm. He came and set them free. Yes. Yeah. He made a way for Job. He made a way for Daniel. Yes. You know, when they threw him in the lion's den. Oh, yeah. You know, them lions weren't in there. They weren't just fat and happy. <laughs> they were starving. <laughs> and he threw them in there. <laughs> And God shut their mouth, you know. Mm -hmm. And Daniel was in there. The yeah. king, who was friends with him, ran over there to say, oh, man, I'm going to go see if I can find anything about Daniel. And he went in there, and Daniel's okay. Daniel's safe. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. He made way for Joseph from slave to second in command mm -hmm. of Egypt. He wants to promote you. Mm -hmm. The favor of God is yours. Amen. He wants to promote you. Promotion comes from God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. He Lord. made a way for Lot out of Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm. He says, I just what I want you to do. Don't look back. That's mm -hmm. what he wants you to do about your past. Let it go. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's got better things for you. Yes, Amen. Yes, he made a way for David. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, you just for a little shepherd boy, Jesse said, well, you know, hey, you brothers are, uh, are soldiers and they, they, they're important guys, but you, you're just a little runt, so I'm just going to stick you with the sheep and just be, make you a little shepherd boy. Uh -huh. But Jesus, our shepherd, mm -hmm. he's our shepherd, amen? <laughs> and God promoted him. Yes. When it, when it was time to pick a king of, of Israel, <laughs> he told Jesse, go to the house of Jesse. And Jesse had all kinds of boys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he had eight of them. <laughs> and he passed all the boys through there. He didn't even, he didn't even consider David. Mm -hmm. He passed all the guys through there. Yeah. And, he said, and, and he says, he told the prophet, nope, 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 nope. So he finally went to Jesse and says, do you have another son? <laughs> he said, oh, yeah, but he's a shepherd. He's just watching the sheep over there. He says, run him. So he brought David. David walks through and he says, that's him. That's king of Israel. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. So who are you? Nobody's giving you uh, promotion. Nobody's said anything good about you. Nobody wants you to do this or do that. Or you put yourself down enough. Mm. And God says, I have chosen you mm. to be good, to be important, to be yeah. a somebody yeah. and be for me. He's the one that's called you. Your calling is from God. Mm -hmm. Your qualification comes from God, not yes. from this world. Amen. Your gifts come from God, not from this world. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you're very important. So you, the Bible says you can do all things. You know, when you get all these things in you and you get all stirred up, say, man, I can do all things through Christ. Mm -hmm. That's right. You remember that. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. And how about the little uh, Hebrew children? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. My sack, your sack, and uh, a bungalow. <laughs> <laughs> he threw them in the fire. Mm. And guess what? Still, when they saw in the fire, they looked from a distance because mm. the people that threw them in there mm. uh, were consumed because the fire was so so hot. Mm. But they looked in the fire and said, we threw three. Can you count one, two, three? But I see four. Mm -hmm. You know, wherever you happen to go, God yes. is with you. God is yes, with you. Is. Amen. Amen. He made a way for them, and he'll make a way for you. Amen. Praise so God. let's remember that. Yes. Let's quit putting ourselves down. That's let's right. build ourselves up. Because you are somebody special for God. Yes. Amen. Yes. So I uh, just want to close with that Amen. and let you know that God has made a way for you. Yes. God has made a way. And uh, where there seems to be no way. That's right. And uh, we just gotta trust in Him and uh, and, and stay and stay stay occupied, stay Amen. busy for Him. Amen. We are in the church going somewhere to happen. That's Amen. Right. So praise yeah. God. If you've never asked Jesus in your heart, now's the time. Just yes. say, Lord Jesus, I've failed you. I've, I've mm. sinned against you. I repent. Mm. 
Coming to my life, be my Lord. Yes, yes. If you've said that, you know, you're born again. Yes. You just need to get hooked up to the church and start reading the word of God and, and God wants you to pick up and go from there, you know, and, yes. and be a blessing to him. Amen. Yes. Right here on this world, fulfill your mission. And if you're hurting anywhere, <laughs> coronaviruses, whatever. Just put your hand on your body wherever. Yes. Thank you, Father, that by Jesus' stripes they are healed yes. from the Thank crown of the head to the soles yes, of their feet Lord. because of the stripes of Jesus. Amen. Yes. So body be lined up with the word of God and be yes. healed right now right in now. Jesus' name. I receive it. Say, I receive Lord. it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So praise yes. God. Hallelujah. That was good. And blessings. Yes. So it's time to give. Amen. 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 <laughs> Those of you that are watching and listening. That would like to give or tithe or, 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 or give an offering, you can still do that. We want to thank you for helping us during this time of trials. Amen. So you can go to our website, NBCBigBen.com. Uh, NBCBigBen.com. There's a donate button there, and you can uh, ma or you can mail it to NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. Amen. And again, we just wanted to say thank you. And let this word of God bless you. Amen. Amen. Tell them to look at the screen. Oh, there you go on the screen. You just look at the screen. Those of you that are watching, <clears throat> want to donate? NBC? Big uh, Ben. Big ben. Dot com. Yes. Seven nine eight four three. Amen. And there's a donate button there that will guide you. Amen. So, God bless you. And uh, have a blessed week. Amen. So, Matthew 11, 11 and 12. God bless you. And uh, have a blessed week. Amen. So, remember, greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Amen.